Hey guys, welcome back to our Urban Homestead. And for supper tonight, we're having pork, green enchiladas with a sweet corn cake and rice. So I thought I would take you guys along and show you how to make it. Super simple, wonderful, delicious. And uh, let's get started, shall we? We're gonna start with the uh, sweet cornbread cake first because this takes the longest out of anything to make because I'm using pork that I already have canned, green bean or not green beans, the black beans I have canned and that literally is just mixing it, rolling it, and then throwing it into the oven. All right, so for the corn cake, we need a half a cup and two tablespoons of flour into a bowl. This is my mom's recipe for uh, her cornbread casserole cake. Delicious. Six tablespoons of cornmeal. If you do not have cornmeal in your pantry, you really need to be putting cornmeal in your pantry. There's so many things you can make from it. If you don't cook from scratch and you use box things like Jiffy, you're gonna have to Google how to do this recipe with that because we don't, we don't do that around here. Two teaspoons of baking powder. says a quarter teaspoon but we do a pinch of salt around here or two <laughs> okay so that's all of our dry ingredients you want to whisk this together to combine it memorized so I have to tape it on my cupboard. <laughs> Bless you. All right so we're gonna whisk this up and set this aside and now on to the next portion. So four eggs and a half a cup of sugar, and we're gonna whisk that together. We're gonna whisk this until it's combined and nice and fluffy. Right, 
then we're gonna add a half a cup of sour cream. Four tablespoons of melted butter. And whisk that to combine. I'm going to switch to my paddle attachment. And you're going to add two cans of cream corn. I don't, I only uh, can whole kernel corn. So I did have to buy these, but they were in my pantry. any of you guys watching have a good cream style corn recipe uh, for me to can, please comment and leave the recipe because I would love to do it myself. And then we're going to uh, mix this together. And then you're just gonna slowly add the dry ingredients. chilies and cheese to this also which we have done before but we want it like this tonight because the enchiladas I'm making are with a salsa verde and it's a bit spicy so oh my god <laughs> I just totally ate it the wrong way Y'all know I'm a hot mess. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Jesus, Mary, Joseph. <sighs> okay, well. All right, it got uh, my 9 by 13-ish <laughs> casserole pan sprayed. And then this is going to bake for 45 to 55 minutes until the top is golden brown. And I'm telling you what, guys, this stuff is so good. It's like, uh, you know, certain restaurants have like, they call it spoon, Mexican spoon cake. Exactly what this is. Yum. All right, I'm gonna get this in the oven, 350, 45 to 55 minutes, and then I'll be back and we'll do the enchiladas. Okay, so now on to the enchiladas. I've got two pints of my pork. I'm gonna drain the liquid off of these real quick. If you were making soup, I would suggest that you save that liquid, but it's hot as hell out here, y'all, and I am not making no soup anytime soon. If you want to save it anyways, be my guest. I am not going to today. And 
And you want to kind of, I mean, this pork just, this I think was a pork butt. And you just want to kind of shred it up a bit. Not too fine, um, but not too chunky either. This pork is seasoned with garlic, salt, and pepper. Having canned pork on hand really is phenomenal. Uh, you can do carnita tacos, you can do pulled pork sandwiches in oh, like no time, and then obviously these enchiladas. Okay, so that's about, that's about as fine as we're gonna take it. I'm gonna put a little cumin in. If you don't like cumin, that's fine. Don't add it. I love cumin. Mix that together. Gringo, go on. And then I'm going to add a pint of the black beans that I canned up. If you haven't watched the video on how I can my black beans, these are uh, seasoned with salsa and that's it. This filling makes great quesadillas. I'm sure there's going to be some left over, so that's probably, of this filling anyway, so that's probably what I'll have for lunch tomorrow. All right, so that is our filling, the pork and black beans. bowl I have a large jar of salsa verde and about a cup of sour cream and we're gonna just whisk this together So you want to whisk that until it is nice and combined. I could probably just drink this. I won't. I'll have a drink of wine instead. All right, so I have a little <clears throat> small casserole here. Spray it. You want to make sure that you spray it well. And I'm going to pour just a little bit of this mixture on the bottom. Not too much, just enough to coat the bottom. Just like that. Corn tortillas. These are white corn tortillas. in there make sure it's end to end roll it up and you're gonna put this in the casserole seam side down and 
you're just going to continue filling until your pan is full. And that's what I'm going to do and I'll be right back. Okay, my pan is full. I have quite a bit of this mixture left over. What I'm going to go ahead and do is uh, vacuum seal it and put it in the freezer. And I think next week we'll have nachos and that will make a perfect nacho topping. <laughs> do you hear April in the background? Mm. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to pull uh, pour this sour cream salsa verde sauce all over it. And then these are going to go in the oven for, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes. And then I will sprinkle some cheese. These were just like some odds and end cheeses I had in the fridge. So I shredded them. There's all, I don't even know, a bunch of mixture in here. So uh, in the oven with the casserole, I'm thinking by the time the corn casserole <laughs> is done, these will be done too. Uh, you want to sprinkle your cheese on the last 10 or 15 minutes. Wait till it's nice and cheesy and bubbly. And uh, dinner will be served. Well, I'm going to make some rice. I'm not going to show you how to do that. I've told you guys, use Sasson Goya if you're not using that in your rice. And uh, I'll be back when it's time for dinner. So full disclosure, uh, I did not video when the food came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> My uh, neighbor wanted to come sit in the front garden and we sat there for a little bit and chit chatted. So um, April said it was delicious. I have not had it yet, but I mean, it's something that we regularly make here. So I know it's good. Um, I could like go warm up a plate and show you, but that wouldn't be very genuine. <laughs> and you know, I keep it real around here. So, uh, as always, thank you so much for watching and welcome to, uh, all the new people. I really appreciate you being here. Um, if you have not subscribed, please consider doing so. If you have subscribed, hit that little notification bell so you don't miss anything. And like the video. That just helps uh, my videos get out to people like you that like to watch the Hot Mess Express. And uh, drop me a comment below just to say hi or if you've had this recipe before. So until next time, abundance and blessings to you. Bye-bye.